dining room. I am just so into the festiveness of holidays and it's just gonna continue to roll today because we are going to make two drinks together. I recently was on HGTV Dream Home 2016, which comes out New Year's Day, 8 p.m. on HGTV. And on the show, I made two cocktails, a cocktail and a mocktail to be specific. And today I'm gonna show you how exactly I made those beautiful drinks. Whenever I'm decorating or planning for a party, I like to have a spark of inspiration. And in this case, I was inspired by the house itself. Decorated, very chic, very clean. It's in Florida on Merritt Island. So I wanted a very chic, kind of modern cocktail. So what is more chic than champagne? I'm not actually gonna use champagne, I'm gonna use Prosecco, which is the Italian version. There's a little bit of a tropical flavor because we're gonna use coconut, bringing in the Florida vibe. So we wanna do a gorgeous rim on these champagne glasses. So I have here white frosting, and then this is sanding sugar, which is just a little bit coarser grain of sugar, so it has those crystals in it. So the frosting is what makes the glass sticky for the sugar. Tap, 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 any excess. That is already a party, guys. So as you can see, these are gorgeous already. It's white, it's beautiful. I'm going to use this cream of coconut. It actually comes in a can and it's very thick. Blah. So you only need about two ounces of this for the topping of the bubbly. I'm actually really scared. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Ah! <laughs> We just lost a cameraman. The party must go on. Just top it off. There you have it, a beautiful, wintry coconut bellini. I think it just needs one finishing touch. Glitter, star, drink, ornaments. We have our coconut bellini cocktail, and now it's time for the mocktail, which is going to be a lavender-infused honey lemonade, to be specific. I am going to make the infusion. The important thing about this is you wanna prep it the day before because you really want the lavender buds to really, well, get infused. So the most important thing you need, obviously, for a lavender infusion is dried lavender buds. These smell a spa tablespoon of dried lavender buds a half cup of honey this is our sweetener for the lemonade and now I just need to add three cups of water now I'm gonna heat this over medium heat bring it to a boil so that the honey dissolves and then you're gonna want to strain it into a pitcher that you can put in the fridge to set overnight for more infusing we're gonna do the lemonade portion of this recipe I have some fresh lemons here and I also have some fresh Fresh lavender sprigs. I'm going to muddle these, which just releases the natural oils and flavor. And now I need one cup of lemon juice. I love squeezing lemon. Okay, so you wanna let your lemon and lavender sprig infusion sit for about 15 minutes. And I also have now the lavender and honey infusion that's been in the fridge for about a day or overnight. And also some frozen grapes, which are gonna be our cute little garnish and also act as ice cubes. But just in case, I have some more ice cubes here. So you could either mix this together first and then store it in the fridge or you could serve it over ice. Now I'm just going to add this lemon to the honey water. I'm gonna use these very cute little mason jars. Put a few of the frozen grapes down at the bottom of the glass. Put some ice cubes on top. And now for the lavender honey lemonade. I'm going to use some of these metal cocktail skewers. These frozen grapes in a row are really cute little garnish. Now I am going to just snip some of these fresh lavender sprigs and use them as a garnish. Here is our beautiful honey lavender lemonade. Smells so good. Two beautiful drinks. I love them, our cocktail, our mocktail. I love how the color palettes work together. These are evergreen drinks, really. You could serve them at any party. I think that they're gonna be perfect for my New Year's party. Speaking of New Year's, make sure you check out HGTV Dream Home 2016. 
coming out, obviously, on HGTV at 8 p.m. on New Year's Day. So excited to see it. It's such a gorgeous house. You guys have to check it out, and someone's gonna win it, so that's really cool, too. So many happy, happy New Year's to you, and make sure that you take a sip of your dreams. Cheers to your dreams. Dream on. Keep it dreamy. Bye. Big shoes. Some big metallic shoes because it is New Year's and even though we're muted and flowy and bohemian with the dress, we gotta get a pop of the metallic.